Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the best golf balls for average players. So average players will usually have slower to medium swing speeds and soft golf balls will compress more easily and when you compress the golf ball you get more distance. So soft golf balls will be perfect for beginners and average players. The slower your swing speed the slower you want your ball to be and in this video uh, we're going to go through the key features of each of our favorite balls for average players how they perform off the tee and around the greens who they are designed for and what the value and the price is like as well thanks for watching our video and if you want more information about our upcoming golf giveaways then don't forget to hit that subscribe button First up is the Strix and Sawfield, and these are the 11th generation of this ball. So they've been improving them every year, and what we have now is a really good quality golf ball. It's a two piece construction with 338 dimples, and it gives excellent feel and control around the green with your chipping and your irons. We are getting good accuracy, um, straight flight path, and we were able to get very good distance and keep these balls in play for a full round. The compression of 60 makes them perfect for mid-speed swings. So if you've got a slower speed swing, you might go with something like the pinnacle or the noodle ball. Uh, we have a mid to fast speed swing, but we're still getting great distance off the tee with these. Pros are the accuracy, the price, and the feel around the greens with the chipping and the irons. Cons is that they're a two-piece ball as opposed to a three-piece. And they're not as long as some of the harder balls like the Pro V1s. And overall, um, you're getting great value with this and they're $20 per dozen. Next up is the Callaway Supersoft. And Callaway is one of the leading brands in golf equipment and that includes balls. It's a two-piece construction with 332 dimples and a very soft ionomer cover that compresses easily and allows you to get good distance. The hex aerodynamic diameter reduces the drag, so the ball gets a little bit more distance in the air. And these are also perfect for the slower swing speeds because they compress so easily. The balls also come in a lot of different colors, so you can find them easily if you go into the rough. So you can get yellow, red, blue, or pretty much any other color. The cover gives excellent feel around the greens with your chipping and your irons as well. And the pros of these would be the distance, speed, loft and accuracy. Cons, again it's a two piece ball and these are only suitable really for slower swing speeds. And they also come at about $20 per dozen. Number three is the Titleist True Feel. And Titleist are the undisputed king of golf balls, although that's under attack more and more these days. So these are the same amazing quality balls, but made for slower swing speeds for seniors, ladies and beginners. We were getting really good accuracy and distance off the tee with these, and we were able to keep them in play throughout the full round as well. The true core gives easy compression, meaning that you get a good distance even for slower and mid speed swings. And the soft true flex cover gives excellent feel around your greens for your approach shots and your chipping. We're getting a really nice pop off the tee with these ones. Good distance, feel around the greens, and it's basically a pro V ball for slower swing speeds, slow to mid swing speeds. Cons, they're slightly more expensive than the other golf balls on this list. So if you play a course where you can keep the ball in play, that's going to be an advantage. And the soft cover can get scuffed a little bit more easily than a Pro V1. And they are, have a good price, they're good value at $30 per dozen. Number four is the TaylorMade Noodle Long and Soft. And these are one of the most famous soft golf balls around. They've got incredible ratings if you check them out on Amazon. Hundreds and hundreds of five star reviews. They've got an IO10 cover with an impact core for good distance for slower and medium swing speeds. The patented dimple technology allows for straighter flight. So if you have a hook or a slice, these are gonna be perfect balls for you to hit them straight down the green every time or down the fairway. 
the soft cover gives perfect feel around the greens on your approach and chipping shots and these are the best priced ball on the list so if you're someone that loses a lot of balls these are under one dollar which represents excellent value so the pros the number one is the straightness we're getting good distance with a mid speed swing and you get excellent control around the greens cons is a two-piece ball only available in white and the cover can scuff a little bit easily but you do get 24 balls for $22 which represents um, the best value on this list today. Completing our list is the Pinnacle Soft Field Golf Balls and what we like most about these is the accuracy and feel that we are getting on our approach shots with our irons and for our chipping. They're very well rated soft golf balls from Pinnacle, which is a leading brand, and you can get the best price using the link below as well. It's a two piece construction with 332 dimples, and as I say, my favorite balls for feel and control around the greens. We were getting good accuracy off the tee, and we were able to keep the ball in play, although it wasn't the longest um, off the tee. The soft Ionimer cover is incredibly soft, and that allows you to hit straight balls and these are really good for slow swing speeds for seniors, ladies and beginners. The pros, accuracy, feel around the greens and the approach shots. Uh, cons, they're not as long as the Strixon or the Titleist or the Noodles and they are a bit more expensive than the Noodles as well but they are well priced at $25 for 15 balls. So which one do we recommend buying overall? And if you've got a really slow swing speed, then we'd recommend the Callaway or the Pinnacle, as they're probably the softest balls. Um, and if you've got a kind of mid to slow swing speed, you can't go wrong with the Strix and Soft Feel. They're long off the tee, and they provide really good feel and accuracy around the greens as well. The Titleist True Feel are an excellent ball, but again, they're a little bit more expensive, which is why we'd side with the Strix and Saw Feel. Unless you can keep that ball in play for a full round, then it might be worth going with the Titleist. The Noodles are excellent, and if you lose a lot of balls, this is gonna be the ball for you. Get good distance, good accuracy, and good feel around the greens. Although they do, they do scuff up a little bit more easily, but excellent value at under a dollar a ball. And as we say, Pinnacle and Callaway Super Soft for slow swing speeds. And if you do have a slow swing speed, we'd recommend the Callaway Super Soft overall, as that's an excellent ball with great feel and control around the greens. So one last quick recap. For slow to mid swing speeds, you're talking the Strix and Soft feel. For slow swing speeds, Callaway Super Soft. And the Noodle Long and Soft is an excellent budget golf ball for average players that you can hit long and straight, good feel and accuracy. And as we say, if you lose a lot of balls, then that's the one you want to go with. So once again, thanks for watching our videos. And if you want to be in with a chance to win in our monthly golf giveaways, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button.